Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Property Roundtable. Myself, Rama and Jackie, providing value to your journey in acquiring or selling a property in Singapore. Today, we have a news flash uh, special episode. Uh, we inserted this video because of the latest news in the market that is going to be pertinent in your decision in 2024 towards buying a property or selling a property in Singapore. So therefore, yesterday we had received news from the FOMC or the Fed meetings that the interest rates will remain steady. Steady. Steady, steady is a good word. Because steady means that we're not expecting any more rate hikes. Okay, that being said, right, that's not the most important point because people don't really care about because we have been at the industry is so high already, we're already like up here, already, like drowning already. So what's more important is that in the FOFC uh, meeting decision side, like, there was some forecast towards the interest rates as expected next year. So in the US, right, they're expecting the growth to in 2024 to be what 1.6%. Yep. So therefore, we are looking at about a terminal value of the interest rates sitting around 4.25 to 4.75, mm-hmm. meaning that there could be signaling a potential of 75 basis points uh, cut. Potentially, like right? Yes. Mm. Yes, potentially. And I think that potential is really high. And they, they really indicate, right? I yeah, mean, they really it. indicate. Uh, so, potentially, there's three cuts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So given that every um, rate hike or cut typically uh, hovers around the 25 basis points, of course, there could be times where it could be a higher uh, mm-hmm. margin of cuts or yeah. increases. But given that as a logical explanation, right, that is, uh, it signals a potential of three rate cuts yeah. in, the, in the silver lining uh, that we are looking at. Mm-hmm. So what do rate cuts actually mean? Rate cut means that the interest rates are in the trajectory of going downwards. Mm -hmm. And we all know that in 2023, right, all of us were very inundated with like trying to predict the interest rates or trying to reposition our mortgages, right, to make our lives that little bit easier. Yeah. And because of that, in our next few videos, which we're going to talk about, um, likely predictions for the market, we will account for some of the scorecard for 2023, which we will not touch on today. Mm. Yeah. So more importantly is now, right, I'm trying to tap on uh, uh, the brains of uh, my colleagues here, right? Mm. Like, So given that there's going to be rate cuts or interest rates are com- going to come off, right? What do you think would be the natural uh, reaction towards this news in terms of sentiments? Sentiments on the landed market, for mm. example. Mm. Uh, maybe today we can start with uh, Rama. Isn't it the same? <laughs> <laughs> Rama, with this very uh, exciting piece of news, right? Um, yeah. what do you foresee uh, people's reaction or their sentiments towards their decision of acquiring or selling, uh, or maybe just say buying first, lah, mm. of buying a buying. property mm. uh, in the landed segment in 2024. It's just, just contemplating through, you know, I was going to talk about the sellers anyway. Um, those who already never mind, own. Never mind. Because ask you, so talk about sellers first. Okay. What do you think sellers' <clears throat> reaction will be to this news? Uh, uh, rather more than sellers, right? Uh, I'm, I was actually referring to owners mm, who owners. already own a uh, high quantum uh, landed properties yes. with... Uh, What's high quantum? Uh, as in like when they purchased, they purchased for a very high price and their loan oh. amount is also very high. La. Okay. So this is definitely good news for them. La. You know, this is so the news say that... So we normal, yeah. typical 4 million, then their loan size about 3 million. Uh, because some of them, they pay full cash, so no worries. Then some never take much full loan. Full cash don't care about interest rate. Uh, one, bro. Correct. <laughs> so those who take the most amount of loan... La. Full cash then got cash uh. put inside the bank, la, then they're very sin because the fixed D rate coming down. <laughs> <laughs> so these people definitely is good news to them. I mean, it's, yeah. it's in the right direction uh, for them. La, you know, yes. they, they would be looking forward to this news for a very long time. La. Yes. So what, so, does it, what does it really translate? I mean, given given that they, their repayment is high now with the interest rate coming down. Yes. And so, hopefully they never lock in like yesterday. La. 
Yeah. You okay, know what well, I mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> maybe if they had done it like six months ago, in the next six months, there's something to look forward to. Like, you know what I mean? Amazing. Yeah. yeah. So if you're locked in yesterday, uh, all is not lost. Huh? Uh, <laughs> you have to find a way to read the terms and conditions and see yeah. if there's a chance for a conversion yeah. after yeah. one year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah. yeah, on that part, yeah, for for owners like that, but sell uh, buyers. Mm. Jackie, you want to take this or you? Oh, I can. I mean, sure. um, okay. I mean, naturally for the wait, best wait, wait, wait. Oh. So what Rama is saying mm. in terms of sellers is that mm. it's a positive news, lah, because mm. uh, sellers, as in owners, lah, owners, owners, owners mm. first. Okay, let's say owners. We're not talking about buyers or sellers first. Just owners, right? Mm. The reaction to the news is positive. Yep. Because they are able to now uh, reprice or refi their mortgages at a lower uh, interest rates going into 2024. Their repayment yep. is more. I mean, is it, isn't that the question all agents were asked by their clients in the yes. last one and a half years? Yeah. Hey, when will the interest rate drop? When will the interest rate drop? Yeah. What's, what I makes get the interest that rate so drop? You know? many times. Yeah. Yes, yes, get yes. Get so yes. many times. Yeah. yeah, correct. So, okay. Yeah. So, I think it's positive news to work mm. for owners. Mm. So, Jackie, in terms of owners, let's say we talk about owners. People um, who are not doing anything, not going to sell, not going to buy. Okay, like he wants. I mean, I mean, obviously, given the rate cuts, you're also owner, what? Uh, given the rate cuts, you have more. How breed- do you feel? You have more breeding space. You can't breathe, man. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you have more breeding space. Previously, okay, okay. the water level is here. Okay, okay. After the rate cut, the water okay. level is here. So what? Uh, what uh, for on your own part, right? With this news, right? What do you foresee yourself doing for your mortgage? I think he wants to know, so he also can reprice, huh? Reprice, okay. Yeah. You you reprice because you are locked in for two years lah. Yeah, yeah. Previously and yeah. now you're All right, refinance perfectly. Are for those that is timely. Uh, yes. Uh, because we anticipated that the yes. um, second half next year, mm. uh, the rate cutting will be affected. So mm-hmm. smart. Okay. Huh? So smart. Okay. Always. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's also positive news as mm. as owners. La. So, and it benefits. La. It benefits both ways. The yeah. buyer and <clears throat> seller. I don't know about you guys. For yeah. me, every time I go on viewing, uh, like what you say earlier, yes. all the buyers will always ask this question. When do you think the rates are coming down? When do you think the rates are coming down? Now we are doing what? Three, slightly more than 3% mm. fixed rate. Uh, fixed rate? About 3. La, about mm. three. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> 3%. Uh, if it comes down uh, 75 pointers that yes, will 75 points um, but 75 points may not translate to a drop in 75 points to the mortgage rates mm-hmm. but the trend is going uh, towards a downtrend uh, yeah. in 2024 yeah. mm. for interest rate uh. yeah mm. correct yeah. Okay. so for myself as an owner because uh, I think for our regular viewers who know I'm in the process of rebuilding my house so one huge of the, house yeah no, not really. But one of the points that uh, I've been looking out for was actually the obviously the direction of the interest rate market. Mm-hmm. Because for myself, as we uh, as you know, right? I mean, I also took a construction loan, so I have two loans. So one is the primary uh, house loan, one is the construction loan. Mm. So both the loans are are able to be are unable to be repriced nor refi at the moment because I need to get the DOB set so, first. Mm, yeah. But given that my TOP is likely in the first quarter of 2024, therefore it's definitely a great piece of news for myself. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. So for the view out there, mm. okay, if you are in the midst of getting a lender property mm. and looking to rebuild, yes. So bear in mind that for the rebuilding portion, uh, you are eligible for a construction loan. Yes. If you need more information, please reach out to us. Uh. Yes. So in, in that regard, right, let's say we're just talking about owners who now own properties and they were always, I've been watching this channel and they've been considering rebuilding, right? Perhaps 2024 may be a opportune time for you to consider that. Yep. And this applies to owners who have uh, basically owned the house for some time and with interest rates coming off, uh, there's an opportunity for you to tap on the your existing uh, equity, yep. mm-hmm. which is the amount that has risen and appreciated through yep. the years yep. to go into the process of rebuilding. Mm-hmm. So this is a bonus point. Yep. So now let's talk a bit more about buyers. Bias. Because mm. I think um, from the conversations that we had and from a lot of the comments, a lot of people have been asking us about interest rates, not for the point of stopping them from doing something, but the timing of mm-hmm. doing that. Mm-hmm. So for buyers in 2024, mm-hmm. do we foresee this as the pivoting moment in, in 
I would say this current uh, cycle or we're going to see a brand new cycle coming up because of this news. I yeah. I think uh, when you mean by cycle, as in you are talking about the number of transactions and uh, yes. taking we, place would be are going we gonna up, right? See, no, are we going to see new world price points being formed because or more activity? Because if let's say everybody's been waiting for this piece of news, it's mm. how each and every individual reacts to it. So for the mess, the general people on the True. buy side, right? Yeah. What do you think they are likely to to how do you think they'll take this piece of news and what do you think they are likely actions that they will take? Naturally, it's a good news to the buyers as well. But with specific being specific to your question, yes. okay, the seller is also consuming the same information. Yes. Okay, so it's how the seller interprets it yes. and how the buyer interprets it yes. that would determine uh, the answer to your question. Mm. Okay, it's not just the buyers alone. Although yes. the buyers would be happy and the sellers would be happy in their yes. own con own uh, yes. uh, journey, right? What I, I foresee is, yes, it'll be a fantastic news for buyers because um, you're buying uh, something and the loan that you're taking is going to be subject to a lesser interest rate. So that invites yes. you to go in more. Your Maybe your budget may even increase because of yes. that. All right? Yes. So is the seller consuming the same information, they know, hey, now buyers can afford more. Ma. Mm, I mean, yes. they shouldn't be so scared to make an offer now. Yes. So they also look forward to this. I think the market will be more vibrant because of this news. Yes. So I foresee uh, after this holiday season, as a matter of fact, I already start seeing it. It's, the people are starting to come in already. Yeah. But after the holiday season, I think there'll be more vibrancy in the market uh, yes. towards the first quarter of uh, 2024. Okay. Yeah. Jackie? It, we, yeah, it definitely will translate into some form of activities. Mm. Uh, personally, I foresee that the number of deals uh, done, transacted, will increase given when the Fed had cut the rates. Yep. So, like, like, like what I say previously, um, a lot of buyers that comes in with the number one problem on their mind, yeah. when the interest rate is going to come down, when the interest rate yeah. It seems like this interest rate literally dictates them from making the decision. Yes. Right? So with it coming off a little bit, um, mm. yeah, they just may want to jump in straight away. Yeah. So I think a seller can also be a buyer in this case. Like, if mm -hmm. you're on the journey of um, moving segments, mm -hmm. say you want to sell something to buy a landed it doesn't have to be a landed, right? It could be a condo or even an HDB. And we've, we're seeing more and more um, such viewers and also more and more clients who have been approaching us who are making that that that, that quantum leap mm. from HDB to, to landed. landed. Yes. So for the HDB market, it has always <clears throat> been less of a... The sensitivity to interest rates may not mm. be as high because the quantum of the loan is not as big. And yep. also, if they are on HDB loan, uh, they are yes. well protected. Yes, two point six percent all so, the way. So, so they have been, mm. they have been a bit um insulated and from the interest rate market, which is which is great. Mm -hmm. Um, but it also means that if you are going to sell, say, from a one segment to another segment, you have to weigh out the quantum of your loan. Mm -hmm. Right. Meaning that if you're selling out of something and going to a bigger segment, right? I mean, this is clearly positive news and you should uh, be definitely with uh, your ears peeled in terms of uh, what your next steps going to be. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, at this table, we agree that the, the sentiments will turn positive. Yep. The yep. sentiments towards the interest rates have become clearer. Yep. And if everybody behaves logically, right, they are more likely mm -hmm. to believe that if the interest rates are coming down, there could be a few things. Mm -hmm. One thing for the buyer that may be in your advantage is of course interest rates and the cost of taking loan is uh, cheaper. Mm -hmm. Two, we still need some kind of reprieve from um, MAS, right? In mm -hmm. terms of how we deal with stress tests. Mm -hmm. Because now the stress test of taking a loan is still hovering at 4%. Mm. Yep. So if if interest rates come off, right, it doesn't mean immediately you can tap on that loan mm -hmm. amount mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So if there's some reprieve to the 4%, then definitely we'll see more access to um, more Chip, yeah, cheaper that, that's, that's loan. A, yeah. That's an excellent point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So when, when if that doesn't change, right, it yep. probably just means that your cost of financing is cheaper, but your access to the debt market is yep. still not that high. Yep. Mm. Yep. 
and thirdly, it, and thirdly, if sellers who have, um, who are still indifferent at the moment, they have not decided mm-hmm. what they're going to do, whether to sell to upgrade, right? Mm-hmm. They will probably do the first thing, which is to refi mm-hmm. or reprice. And when they refi or reprice, right, mm-hmm. they are likely to stay in that position for a while. Mm-hmm. Which also means that for the buyers, right, even if you're all ready to go, right, if the sellers reprice or refi, right, before they make that decision means this listing is not coming onto the market. Yep. Which also means that if the sellers who are in the market now pitching uh, their listings or have set putting their houses up for sale, right? Mm-hmm. I think the buyers should be very serious mm-hmm. towards looking at mm-hmm. these options. Because when you look at these options of what they are trying to do right now, and if sellers really stay put, right? Then you, you may still be on these few um, opportunities. Mm. Right. So from a seller standpoint, then um, uh, Jackie, if you're a seller, right. And you hear this piece of news and you are thinking, is there an opportunity for you to do something or work towards a landed segment? Given that you're not in this landed segment at the moment, what should this seller, or what do you think you will advise this seller to do? Given that let's say, lah, he's from a condo. Yeah. who want to upgrade. Yep. What do you think, <clears throat> this piece of news and how they should be reacting uh, towards this upgrade journey? Um, so if you have an intention to do the switch for the lead bound from the mm. existing condo to mm. maybe a lender segment, which you mm. have already been, uh, you know, aspired to get into, uh, get yourself exposed to the existing listing. Yeah. Okay. Mm. But should you have unclear runway exactly on what you need to do the next step, please give a call to Harvey. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Let us guide you through the yeah. journey. Lah. Okay. So, yeah. so basically, get yourself exposed to the existing listing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See what's the price point and what sort of uh, property that translates to the price point that you'll be getting. Yes. Then from there on, you assess yes. your situation. Yes. I think that's the best. Lah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Rama, mm-hmm. if, you, if you have... Okay, let's say... I mean, let's say a seller is in a HDB segment right now. And mm. he's been relatively insulated from the interest rates environment. Mm. Then he's thinking of upgrading to the landed segment. Mm. Mm-hmm. What would your advice be for them? First of all, if they've already made the decision and and their plan is to uh, upgrade to a landed, mm-hmm. uh, the timing really doesn't matter lah to me because yeah. uh, okay now let's look at okay let's just look at the timing. All right, HDB market is pretty high right now, so mm. definitely the selling is. A, a good decision. Mm. Okay, that one is a no-brainer. Okay. Now, once they sell, of course, they're going to move into a bigger space now. So the only thing that's affecting them is the interest rates, mm. right? So what better news they can get or be exposed to mm. than the news that just came out? Yeah. Right? So this is what they're being. So the time, if you look at timing, this would be actually a good timing for them to upgrade. Yeah. I mean, what else are you expecting to hear? Yeah. Right? Maybe because the feds, it's Christmas time, so they just threw in this like a present. <laughs> I don't know. Christmas All right? present. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but the thing is, it just makes ha- people happy at this point. But looking forward to what's going to happen in the next quarter and their plans, yeah. I don't think it will go up. Lah, because the direction they have been taking from mid-year 2023 to yeah. now has been consistently uh, what they have been talking about. Right? Yeah. Okay. So I guess we agree that there will mm-hmm. definitely is a positive sentiment towards buying activity. Mm-hmm. Um and therefore we foresee that there will be more buyers in the market looking to to make to that, firm up their decision. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. To make that move. Mm-hmm. Um so given that this like what Rama said, right, perhaps you know, is is the time of day and then um it's some good news. And for our clients in the market, you are definitely not just buying housing. You are also exposed to the stock markets as well. Yep. Mm. Or for example. Mm. And the first sign of positivity towards general sentiments has been demonstrated in the American stock market uh, just last night. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the Dow Jones has surged to a record. And that being said means to most of the investors or businesses out there, they foresee this as a an, an excellent um, news because it definitely makes their cost of 
um, running a business probably yep. cheaper. Mm. Um, no business runs purely on cash. Mm-hmm. And then obviously, um, with the sentiments this way, you know, um, interest rates have an inverse relationship to capital values. Mm-hmm. So when interest rates come off, capital values will go up. Yep. And we did see uh, this trend before. It's nothing new in Singapore when interest rates taper off. Uh, buying activity and pricing does uh, creep upwards. Yep. Now, though, although that being said, what's the million dollar question though? Like, even if more people buy, do you think that will cause some uh, short spikes to price increases or are we still going to see buyers' uh, uh, price points re- remaining relatively flat? I mean, we're just talking about like the first quarter, say 2024. Mm-hmm. Because as we mentioned, we made some predictions for 2024. But um, as you know, we always film a little bit early. So Mm -hmm. we are only inserting this video because it matters to you and it matters to us. Mm -hmm. But we already made some predictions. But given that this new insert came in, Mm -hmm. right? do you think that the the first queue, you will see uh, an instant reaction to this news or everybody is still like waiting to see the crystallization of really rates coming down? For me, I think there will be an instant uh, uh, change. Uh, Not only because of this news, mm. but also because the holiday season is over. Mm. Okay, mm. so coupled with that, it's like double. Yeah. So I definitely see it moving forward. Mm. Okay, so, so you, this do news see is some, def- yeah. you do see some price uh, creeping upwards. Yeah, and, and this news would only uh, propel it further. Yeah. yeah. Jackie, same. Uh, more activities equals to price creeping upwards. Yeah. Yeah, I foresee that uh, those sitting by the bench waiting to yeah. enter the market because yeah. of the interest rate, the yeah. high interest mm-hmm. rate environment right now, with that piece of news is actually a, a, a trigger point for them. Yes. Yeah. Although I didn't answer his question as usual. <laughs> okay, because he asked whether the price will go up, which I never mm. answered. Like, you answered it. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. so, yeah. so I will answer it. Like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So I like what he uh, said in the earlier part of the uh, this episode. The sellers will also eventually become buyers, man. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Which I I thought was an excellent point uh, yeah, because yeah. you know why, if that's the case, then the seller has to make a decision too. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. if they have been waiting on the price, and they also have found something that is suitable for them, yep. so it's about time they make a decision. Of course. Yes. Right. Of and course. and they would want to secure this. Uh, during a low interest uh, environment, environment, right? Yes. Yeah. So because of that, maybe I feel there will be not too much of a gap between the buyer and seller in the mm. next few months. Mm. There's a possibility, lah. Possibility. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So, so generally, this piece of news is turn, uh, will turn the market uh, even. It will fuel positivity. Mm-hmm. The demand is always there. Uh, there is always a latent demand. Mm. The the issue we have here is now, um, what do we have to sell? Yeah. So, selling becomes the key action that will complete this whole uh, prediction that we're making. Mm-hmm. Because you need a seller, you need a buyer, mm-hmm. and then that, that will form the market and then a deal to form price points and volumes, right? Mm-hmm. So, therefore, um, if you are a seller in 2024, it also matters whether you are looking to sell into a new price point. I think interest rates fuel positivity, but it may not fuel the immediate access, access to uh, debt. Mm-hmm. And people will also remain very prudent. Mm-hmm. In the recent MAS report, right, even before this news came out, right, MAS had mentioned that... Um, Although most people's monthly mortgages have gone up, and it's mm-hmm. a given, uh, mm-hmm. given, right? Mm-hmm. But the loan to value ratio, uh, what is loan to value? Loan to value is the amount of debt that you have mm-hmm. based on the amount uh, that your property is worth right now. Right? Mm-hmm. I think Singapore uh, market for residential is sitting at a relatively healthy level of below 50%. Mm. So it's hovering around 40 plus percent, mm. which means that for every dollar of real estate that mm-hmm. Singapore uh, owners own, right, mm-hmm. they only have around 40, 40 over cents, cents yeah. of debt. Yeah. And if the sellers don't do anything, they reprice or they refi into a lower rate, right? It entrenches their position even deeper, mm-hmm. which means that every month they're making the payment, right? They are bringing down their mortgages at a faster pace than it was in the last 
one year plus. Mm. Mm. So it also means that their holding power increases. Mm. So if the seller is not selling and refis or reprice, right, then they don't put the property in Into the market, the market to yeah. sell. Uh, mm-hmm. Their holding power increases. Yep. Mm-hmm. And when their holding power increases, right, it also means that Lesser, they will yeah. have a higher propensity right, mm-hmm. to do one thing, which is to hold out mm-hmm. for the price that they want. Mm-hmm. So for those that are in the market that are selling right now, right, they have already made their decision. Even mm. before this piece of news towards their next step, either upgrade or downgrade, yep. which is fine for them. In fact, if you are going to a into a downgrade, I wouldn't. I think downgrade is a very bad word. I, I should take back that word. Mm. If they are moving segments from say landed into a condo, condo into a HDB, right? Right sizing. Yeah, right sizing, right? Or like redeploy their portfolio, right? Yeah. For a sexy one, sound very sexy, but actually it just changed house. Like. <laughs> so basically, right, if they're do- doing that, right, they are definitely in a good spot because mm. they're just trying to cash out for their profit, right? Mm. But for those people who are indifferent, they will hold up for your price. Mm. If there's a holding out of price and buyers still don't get access to as much debt as they want, right? Or mm. be it cheaper, right? There will still be that, that duration. There will still be that price gap. Mm. But the problem now lies with even if with interest rates coming down, if sellers hold up for their price, right? Is sellers are still strong. And with the sellers being able to take the opportunity, I think sellers will remain even stronger. Yeah. So for buyers, right, you're in a bit of a catch-22 situation. Yeah. You feel the interest rates come off, it's time for you to make a move. Yeah. But if you take your time to think about it, right, and more sellers continue to entrench their position and they start refi price or refi, right, they are likely to not sell because the first year they were gonna the yeah. The penalty, the penalty mark, yeah. right? Mm, yeah. So yeah. they are likely to put it in the market, right? Yeah. And there's only 70 over 1,000 landed homes in Singapore, of which like <laughs> a few thousand have been transacted in a, you know, in a good year was 2,000 plus. Mm. This year will probably end 1,000 plus. The year uh, before was another, like what, close to 2,000. Mm. So about 5,000 over 6,000 houses in the market, not going to sell to nobody, man. Mm. They're just going to, they bought ready, ma. Yeah. Then they, they go and team in the house, they're not going to sell, right? Mm. Also on the SSD, I cannot sell. Yes. Yep. Yep. And then we break it down even further. Which yep. district you go into. Yeah. Then if you're going to a district that has not very high inventory. Yep. Yep. For example, I mean, I'm just going to give this example. Let's say, <laughs> Careful, let's, hey, let's, say <laughs> let's say you're going to go into, uh, say district 13. Uh, I use district 13. Because mm. district 13 is a popular district. Yeah, mm. it is. City but fringe. the inventory is not in the top five, six, seven, uh, inventory mm. and then you break down the inventory into like terrace semi the mm. bungalow right? mm. so if you're gunning for a terrace in a low inventory district right mm. and the sellers choose not to sell uh, then that's the problem really because mm. you are not going to have an opportunity to go into the market so immediately if that listing comes out right you mm. kind of need to know what's your better field mm-hmm. so it depends your strategy for the buyer also depends on which district you're gunning for mm-hmm. If not enough inventory to tap on, right? Then interest rate low also. Let me just <laughs> like, also. But I just heard, like. I just heard a, yeah. a bell. Yeah. I think that's the district 13 seller. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie's district 13 seller just messaging him. <laughs> yeah. And 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 we are we are we are actually encouraging um we are actually encouraging sellers or buyers to to discuss and decide. Mm. We're not telling you to do anything, but if you're if you're not too sure what you want to do next, right? I think it's good to have a discussion. Yeah. yeah. In, in, in recent times, we have, uh, in recent weeks, uh, we have seen an increase in activity in the inquiry. Mm. We've seen an increase in um, viewing activity. Yes, yes, yes. That's, that's seen, true, that's true. We've seen an increase and in, in the very first few episodes uh, in our channel, you can watch back, right? We talk about profile bias these days. And, the profile is getting younger and younger. Mm. And in recent times, we have been contacted by quite a lot of very young buyers. So these are the guys, right, who have a loan tenure of 30 years. These are the guys, right, who are, you know, I don't know because what, 30, yeah. I don't know what gen, don't know what, la, but like really young and very successful in what they do mm. and are very uh, clear what's the next step they want to do. Mm. So it's a quantum leap. So HDB to to lend it. And that being said, right, I think more and more uh, of uh, such buyers will emerge. Mm. 
Yeah. Happy to see that. Uh, yeah. yeah. So as a seller, right? Again, we are asking you, if, if, if the landed house doesn't serve the purpose for you anymore, right? Could we appeal to you, right? To hand this position, right? To the next buyer who is very willing, right? To take this position. Because, okay, now I'm going to ask uh, Rama a question. Mm. So assuming that interest rates are really, as what they say, very mm. good, 75 basis points cut by 2024, mm. end of the year, blah, 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 we are going back to our, I wouldn't say back to the good old days, but mm. two-ish percent. Mm. And a buyer is still thinking, do you think I should buy? Mm. So for this buyer, right, who is thinking, like, should I buy? What? Is that thing that he should consider to tip him across to a to a very convicted position of buying? I'm going to give you a very funny answer, la, which I just came across my mind. <laughs> so I don't know it's going to make sense, but yeah. but a bit cocky too. Okay, yeah. I mean you're losing the opportunity to change the topography of the of the particular district that you are about to buy, la, Because mm. I like what you mentioned earlier on, right? Mm. The younger buyers today they buy, they rebuild. Mm. So it's like a very small group of people yes. who have now come into the market to actually change the topography of that whole estate. Yes, you yes, know? yes. So you would be actually missing out mm. being one of those who can actually change mm. how properties in Singapore look like. Oh. Because they're young, ma, so they can start okay, doing this okay. right now, right? Mm. So, and like what you mentioned earlier on, the, the people who have been already there handing over to these people. Yes. So what can we see uh, in the future? So they're actually... The yeah. ambassadors la, yeah. of yeah. how our landed property would be. Oh. Uh, so they will yeah. be creating value. La, Absolutely. By building, yeah. they will be and, and increasing and eventually, points. eventually, when you see all these new uh, builds coming up, right, you, you can definitely see the price is appreciating. Then your barrier to entry becomes higher. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. That That is also true. I mm -hmm. guess the new buyers, uh, new landed homeowners are going to be very, very different mm. from the the OG, la, the original people that mm -hmm. uh, are in the landed segment. I think the house matters how it lay, is laid out, mm -hmm. how the value of it. And like I said, it, I, I thought of giving you a different answer. Also can. Yeah. Let's see what's Jackie's. There you go. I think he lost the question. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I think what I meant is if let's say he's still sitting at the buy line, yeah. thinking that should I buy, should I buy, should I buy. If, if all the attributes just surface itself, right? The budget meets, you have your location, the mm. house will serve you. Mm. Even if it doesn't serve you, your intention of rebuilding is there, okay? Everything just surfaces. Uh, you you jump right in. Uh, this is mm. opportunity, right? Uh. Absolutely, mm. yeah. So if you don't grab this opportunity when mm. you have been searching for a long time, yeah. Mm -hmm. So recently we just served a buyer, right? Yeah, yeah. So they came and see the house and they were absolutely in love with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then they were we were talking about to him and he said he's in the market searching for one and a half year. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> right? So <laughs> we went to ask him, then why is stopping you in making mm. the decision? Yeah. <laughs> I I I I am I am amazed. Yeah. I'm amazed. I'm equally amazed. <laughs> I'm I'm really amazed uh when people spend this amount of time in the market. If you are served, if you have an agent, okay, if you, let's assume you don't have one. Huh? Hmm. If you don't have one, I kind of get it, right? You got a lot of like your th your thought processes need to be mm -hmm. sorted out. Mm -hmm. And then a husband and a wife, yeah, one say, uh, I want oh, a movie ready. One say, never mind, we can do the reno work. Ah, reno is so expensive. Ah, one movie ready. Ah, my movie ready. I must have this kitchen and all that. Then you spend a lot of time bouncing ideas, la, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then you take such a long time. Yeah. But this client is actually served by an agent. And I'm just very curious, like in these one and a half years, right? Like what exactly was being discussed? Because in these one and a half years, right? The price point has gone up uh, by like easily Absolutely. 20%. Yeah. Mm. They could have bought it so much cheaper one and a half year ago. Yeah. It mm. doesn't matter your your island is round or is square or whatever. It, yeah. it, it really doesn't matter. Yeah. It really doesn't matter whether the room got toilet or not. No. Because all these things, right, at the end of the day, right, it's about getting used to the house. If you buy a condo, right, the developer built it this way, right, mm. then you feel like it's okay. 
Because my neighbor's house are the toilet also here. Mm. My neighbor's house are the uh, the kitchen concealed. I also concealed. You know what I mean? Yes. Did that just come like that? <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> Somehow, uh, in a condo segment, the decision so easy. Uh, I just mm. want this facing. I yeah. want this that. Yeah. When it comes to landed, uh, you Make want a cake. Yeah. You want to eat it. Yeah. You want to well, eat cake, don't get fat. You want yeah. everything. Yeah. I'm excited to see what's going to come out in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really, really. Because this 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 client, right, is very genuine. They they have, I mean, why we say this client, although they have an agent, right? It's because the agent didn't show up for the viewing, right? No, yes. The agent never show up. Maybe that's why. Because even when the buyer went, right, the agent never show up, right? And yeah. say, oh, I cannot go, blah, blah, blah. You yeah. all can present for me. Not mm. sure. Mm. You know, we represent our seller. Mm. So shout out to our sellers. Uh, it's okay one. The agent don't show up, we still show up. Yeah. Right? But the, the agent didn't go there to value add. Mm. So we're trying to explain to them. They say, ah, seller agent always say this, blah, blah, blah. Okay, fine. But what we're trying to say is, right, even if the best piece of news came along and you're not advised properly, right, you're just going to float law. That's why mm. the question about why this buyer, but you still thinking about the buyer. It doesn't matter what the news comes out. You don't, take the news and you don't react react or mm. make the best decision out of this piece of news, right? You're going to miss it again. It's useless. Yeah. Like me, right? Mm. I'm not so big on share market, right? You mm. give me the best stock tip in the world, I'll be like, I think I'm not going to do anything because it's not my cup of tea. Mm. But the guy's buying a house, like, like legit. Like, not even trying to like invest or what. He want to buy uh, and then want to stay there to provide a lifestyle for the kids mm. and family. Legit, right? Yeah. So, Again, right, we sh this this news, I mean, we kind of like elaborate, elaborate, elaborate a bit on the details. It's because, right, mm. people always produce all sorts of videos, talk about news, la, mm. talk about interest rate up, down, left, right, you know, well, then this house, good, no, this good, well, very nice, you know, home tour, home tour. But what value is it to, to you as mm. a seller or buyer? Yeah. It's the advice you have to give, ma. We're selling the house. We tell the mm. buyer what you can do with it. What's your potential out looking for? If you're a buyer, we're telling you what position you're getting into. Mm. So, yep. I mean, after so many videos, I mean, we're coming to the end of 2023, right? It is very apparent that a lot of people are just as lost from the start until now. Yeah. Because they just don't know what, how to take the news. Mm. So here at the table, right, what we try to do is always tell people this. It's like, we... We give you our opinions on the market mm. because we truly uh, care. La. We truly care. Uh, obviously, we are professionals. We get paid for, for our services, right? It's definitely a fair game, right? I do something, I get paid, right? But beyond that, right? We've said this before. We wanted to form a community of landed homeowners. Yeah. When we sell you the house, right? Or when we buy a house for you, right? We are all within this community at the table right we form this community and through us you, get, you probably can access to a lot of other things like you know if you want to rebuild we, we're, able, we're able to find you the right parties if you are, if you want a mortgage we're able to find you mortgage uh, top mortgage advisors to give mm. you the right advice yeah so maybe towards the tail end of this video just to sum, to, to summarize like, maybe we, we 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 think again that this piece of news will show up in the headlines true Everybody will scramble to make some form of prediction mm -hmm. towards what the market is going to be. But we care more than just giving you what the market is going to be because we know what the market is going to be. As owners, we also care about our mortgages. Yep. As owners, Absolutely. we also care about our next bound, yep. our upgrading or right-sizing um, journey, which is why when we see CBS on news, we, are, we also know how we feel. Ma. The feeling is good. Shooks, <laughs> yeah. Finally, this move, I'm oh, sorry. These mm. people <laughs> <laughs> decided that they're going to like cut the rates, right? Yeah. We are happy. Yeah. Because we are really at the, we are really like the, the collateral damage in this whole thing. Given that our market is relatively transparent and we have done so well for MAS to be, to keep our sanity in this crazy, crazy uh, uh market, interest rate market. So, in summary, um, uh, Brahma, mm. if uh, you would give just one piece of advice for this in, uh, piece of interest rate news mm. to regardless of a client, right? what would you tell them to do? We are all in our journey of buying and selling um, at some point in time. Mm. So, this news is just at a particular point in time it arrives. Yeah. Okay. So, like what Javier mentioned uh, in the last few minutes, right? 
uh, don't let these news affect the buying or the selling uh, part of your journey. You know, because you do things according to your needs mm. and wants. Mm. Okay, so good thing is this news is a good news for both parties. Mm. So when it happens at this time, mm. and that's the reason why we're having this this uh, particular episode uh, yeah. at this point in time. Yeah. So right. So to me is regardless of this type of news, the buying and selling will still continue to go ahead. Mm. And like the old saying is doesn't matter when you buy. Mm. It, all it matters is when you exit. La. So all you right. need to just plan your exit. So buying is awesome. not uh, a thing that, you know, this awesome. news should not be affecting the buying process. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Jackie, yeah. what just based on this news, just one advice. It, it, I mean, personally, I, I think it will translate to more activities. Yeah. So if you're out there standing by the fence, still looking whether to, still deciding whether to go in or not, uh, mm. take the opportunity. Lah. But if you really can't sort out your thoughts, mm. okay, you have seen a couple of houses, you couldn't decide which one. Yeah. Come to us. Talk yeah. to us. Uh, mm. There's a WhatsApp form in yeah. the below description box. Yeah, actually, the WhatsApp form. actually, yeah, speaking of that, uh, we have uh, multiple ways of contacting us. If you go into the uh, channel description, our details are there. You, uh, you go to the WhatsApp form, you can contact us. Uh, and more importantly, if you Google our names, you can find us in a public CEA register, mm -hmm. which is, we, we are out there as well. Um, lastly, my, my, my advice I would give to anyone with this piece of news is just uh, this line. Uh, many have sight, few have vision. We are we all know what's going to happen. It's clear as sky, mm. right? But to have the vision to do something that you want to do and do it with conviction and confidence, right? Sometimes, right, requires a bit of reassurance and a little bit of... Um, from the right people. Yes, from the right people. And it's up to you to decide whether we are the right people or not. But I think so far, we have made some moves for our clients and ourselves in our... Uh, we, are, we are of age. La, so we have done some things. We have made some mistakes. We have definitely made some right calls as well. And that should shortcut your journey by quite a fair bit. Yeah. So um, to conclude this episode, interest rates, uh, the biggest news in the market right now is definitely very useful. We are good to know that there's transparency now. We are a bit clearer as to where the market is likely to be heading. And for those of you who are just keen on looking at your loans per se, don't mm. want to buy, don't want to sell, mm. um, you can also come to us. Yep. Because we are also uh, able to provide you with a lot more um, contacts yeah. or the right people to give the advice as to what packages you should be taking. So um, yeah. thank you so much for watching another episode of Property Roundtable and we see you in the next episode. Thank you.